okay. For some reason my generator doesn't charge the back very well, so the battery hasn't been oh. starting. So you don't start. Oh. Uh, run over here. I'd be like, listen, I gotta film this. This is our moment. What if digging this water line actually worked? Anyways, so I fell. My butt's all muddy, but I'm okay. My hands are dirty, it's all good. I almost biffed it. Ooh. Are you putting like a light in there to see? Well, I thought I would, but <laughs> that's not working out too well for me. I can see the level line though. So just wait just... a little bit and see if it I thought there would be like some motion or something in the tank so you can see like it's, it's just I've never seen it once it gets up this full. Oh once see, it's like above the it's up so high that it's like you can't see the velocity coming in to the two tanks, you know? Oh. So you so can't all really we can do is kind of wait. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Unless we had some kind of like a flow meter in the line, you know, that flow that would measure the actual flow of the water going through it. How come we don't have that? This is not standard practice for anything. Oh, what are you looking at? Did you see something? Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe like, it's like something behind it's me. A so, it's a cougar. <laughs> trying to figure out where the burst is now it's this just sucks is it way up there okay so we went to go check on the the water line 
to see if, you know, the generator like kicked off or something. And, and then we went down and we saw a big puddle of water next to our well. And, um, and a big stream of water coming down the hill. So now we're looking for where the water line broke. We had the hard freeze and we thought we did enough. Um, and we didn't. I wonder if the pressure of pulling down on that, if we, maybe if it slid out a little bit on the joint before we got it connected, all the pressure of pulling and pushing to get it down in, if it pulled, pulled that joint a little bit, pulled, a little bit extra. Yeah. And then when it pressurized, it just pushed apart. I don't know, it's in the ground, you gotta dig it out. You think it should be by shovel this time? I mean, you don't have any other choice. How are you going to get it down here? Oh, yeah, there it is. You found it. What tools can I get for you? Any? I'm going to need the pipe wrench and the pliers off the back of the truck. Which truck? Your truck. Okay, let me go get it for you. Okay, so we found, he just started shoveling and we found where the connector just pulled. Woo! Pulled right off the water line. Man, nice weather brings in mud. Dang it. So, he's like, go give me a pipe wrench. I think that's what it's called. And, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, pipe wrench and pliers. So, I'm on my way to help him out. If I don't fall. Everything. Oh. It's like the snow was nice because um, because in the heart the ground was frozen so you can walk on it easier. Okay. Anyway, so he found it. So hopefully it's a simple fix. We'll restart it and see if that works again. Why would he have it? Okay, I gotta find these tools. Ooh. My muck boots don't have very good traction. No, they don't. Like almost died they're little, a few times. They're just little lines. Yeah. You broke the shovel? Oh. See how shallow that line is? Yeah, right yeah, it's not good. Especially on the hillside where. One more spot. Right down here, too. Where it burst, too? No, where it's. Oh. This isn't where it came apart. That's where it came apart. Oh. You're just down here trying, trying to problem to solve? This. If I can fix this, you might get a little more slack up there. Oh, to get it. Get it closer. Yeah. Together. And get mine deeper in the ground. All right. What would you say? Boulder one, mark zero, and shovel zero. Look at this. I mean, like, what the heck? What the heck is. Oh, my land. So, the reason why we're trying to get this boulder out is so uh, we can get this water line even a little deeper. Um, so the shovel broke and hit Mark real good where it took his breath away. I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to take you down to the ER if something's really wrong? So, once he caught his breath and the pain went away. He's back at it, but I, I went down and got him another shovel. So, um, yeah, that boulder is kind of winning right now, huh? Nope. Nope, not, <laughs> not right now. Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. Oh, honey, are you okay? It's going to leave a nice bruise. 
I'm so sorry. You have like a little mud water to... <laughs> oh, geez. What a disaster. Hopefully this is the fix, yeah? And then we've got to dry up the ground again to put more dirt in here. Okay. Something. <laughs> huh? I don't know what we're doing. Do so we feel like we didn't connect the well you saw that we connected these connectors you in the see, dark you see right here this little scratch line yeah that's where the compression ring grabs on so it should have been clear back here uh huh. It was only right there. Oh, of course it's it gonna come right. Barely had a bite, so yeah. you got pressure on it. And it only had to blow back enough, just enough. Just not sure. You have enough slack. See, like somehow we've shrunk even more. Oh no. I just got the opportunity to take some clothes off my husband. It was a real joy. He's like, I just need a rag and I'll wash it later. Get the connectors fitters cleaned up. We pulled that up. Yeah, good Thanks job. Hopefully that's good. Oh my gosh. Good times. I'm just glad you're capable, you know? Like, how expensive would they would this be like if you were like, oh, let me pay somebody to try to figure out what happened. So. Well, if you would have paid somebody to put it in, then it'd be a warranty work. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> so I need to contact my, the Ex warranty. <laughs> need to contact your excavator and tell them you need to warranty this. Oh. Oh, right, he's already on site. <laughs> He lives here. <laughs> Damn it. Guess, guess he's already on it. <laughs> okay, so see how much farther. This is where we were biting. Uh huh. See how much farther that goes into the fitting now? Yeah, your it's head far. is in the way, but let me see it. Oh, yeah, that's way much better. Way farther in, and now that ring will compress clear up here. Okay, good. You gonna keep this exposed while you turn on the. Yeah, the you're generator. Gonna, you're gonna go down and flick that breaker. And I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> you're gonna watch me go down the hill? Oh, is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Yeah. The generator's uh, still running. Oh, so I just have to turn it on? <clears throat> just there's you saw where I plugged it into the generator? Uh-huh. There's a little switch underneath that's the breaker switch. Uh-huh. And it's switched to off. Okay. You switch it to on, on position. You'll hear the generator load up, kick up, and off you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go go down. Yeah. I'm gonna go down yeah. this slippery well, I mean, mud mud hill. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna go now, so that way okay. you have enough time to put it all together. That's fine. I'll be done in like 20 seconds. Okay. okay. Made it down the hill. Look at this. Look at this muddy mess. Okay. He says, just turn on the switch. I'm gonna go around, see what the heck I'm doing. All right, I think I got it. Let's see. Hey! I got it on! I'm just gonna wait. So, okay, what a disaster. Um, just climbing down the hill, I barely survived. Just coming down and sliding. So much mud. Crazy. Okay. Just gonna watch for 
any water that runs down. So much for having nice weather. I mean, it's good, but geez. I'm gonna just watch, okay. So we've been staring at the hillside for quite some time to see if any water is gonna come down. So let's go see if it's filling up the tanks. Just arrived at the tanks. This is moment of truth. For the second time. For the second moment of truth. Is there movement? Bubbles? A wave? The, ante the anticipation's killing me. Right here. So is it going up or down? Well, I don't know. It's only been a minute. so It's been 15 minutes. So 15 minutes worth of water would show at about from that line. Uh -huh. It would be that much different. It's really hard to tell when I'm like dipping my head in and out. To see the line. Well, look at the look at your phone and shine a light in there and see if there's like a wave because no, you can't even see anything with the light in there. Really? Yeah. I need a oh. flashlight, like a focus beam. I thought your I thought your phone was fancy enough to have like a focus beam. Well, all right. Third time is the charm. Yeah. I won't be looking in with the flashlight because it's dead. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Great. Why did we get it? Oh, please tell me we got some water in there. Honey, the suspense is killing me. It would not be funny for you to drop your phone in there. I know that's why I'm like cupping it the all the way around. Like. How long has it been? Just an hour? I'm going to say we're right about there. So that is going up. So it has been. 345 is when we started it. So it's been an hour and 25 minutes. That should be 120 gallons. Hour and 25 minutes should be. No, hold on. No, 60 and 25, 85 minutes. 10 gallons a minute should be. If it's making eight, 10 gallons a minute, it should be. 850. 800. Divide that by two. So it should be up oh, yeah. only. Should have gone up 400 on the tickers. Yeah. It went up 200 on the tickers. We're up 400 gallons. So we're making five gallons a minute. Huh. You think there's a leak? No, because it would be coming out of somewhere. Yeah, I mean, if it's five gallons a minute too. So. Yeah. It's possible that there's you know, some partial ice blockage. 
Oh. Line, like maybe it froze a little bit or something, you know? Have yeah. A little bit of ice that's restricting it. Yeah. As it flows across it, it'll melt that out. Once it melts that plug out, it, you know. It'll move forward a little bit. Faster, but <clears throat> it seemed like, didn't, it seemed like we figured we made almost 10 gallons a minute last time we. I don't know. I thought it was less than that because it took us a while to fill up the tanks. It took us six to seven hours instead of the four that you're thinking. Yeah, you're right. Because we it did take us eight hours of runtime. Yeah. But we were empty though. Yeah. We were empty, and that was to make like forty eight hundred gallons. That goat is so fussy. Forty eight hundred gallons in eight hours is ten gallons a minute. Why don't we Six give it another eight. hour? Let's charge the charge the flashlight. The flashlight too. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely up. It's up, so it's definitely pumping and getting in here. Which is awesome. So there's no question that we're making water into the tanks, but... I'm taking it as a win for now. Yeah, I mean, we're getting water in. It just, it's coming in slower than we thought it would, but... Yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, right there. All right, it's been two hours since I last did, so I just came down and turned off the generator. It's 9.30, it's plenty late anyway, but it should be like spilling out the top of the tanks or awful damn close. So it's turned off. Now I'm gonna drive up to the tanks and see what the level looks like. At our eight gallons a minute, we should have pumped a thousand gallons by now. So we'll see. Well. Let's see what we got. I hate it when it turns on flash. We're not boiling it out at the top. Everything's dry. Now let's see what we got here. Right there. Pretty dang close to as full as we can get them right now. Could get probably a little bit more on there, but plenty full for now. That should be. I don't know. Full. <laughs> okay, cool.